Let's let's bring in our financial contributor, Melody Hobson, president of Ariel Investments, also the chief economist of Moody's Analytics, Mark Zandi. Welcome to you both. And Mark, let me begin with you. We saw President Obama and Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke yesterday say the economy is strengthening, but many others disagree. They fear a double dip recession. Paul Krugman even says we're in the early stages of a depression. What's your view? Uh, I don't think we'll experience a double dip uh, or, or recession. I think the economy will make it through. It's going to be a bit tricky. Uh, we're going to feel uncomfortable, I think, over the next six, 12 months, uh, because as the reporter said, the benefit of the stimulus is fading. But I think there's enough uh, good going on that we'll make it through without a recession. The big issue, of course, jobs. Bianca talked about this wide range uh, of estimates of what could happen. Right. Uh, what's your best guess? I think it'll fall 100,000, largely because of the loss of temporary census jobs. If you strip that out, I think private sector job creation will be about 100,000, plus 100,000. So that's what we've been get, getting since the beginning of the year. I think that's what we got in June. But, Melody, one of the things we've already seen is that the recession is much worse than we even feared. I was struck by this new study in the, by Pew Research this morning saying that more than half of adults have been hit either with unemployment, fewer hours at work, or pay cuts, and that causes consumers to pull back. There's no question about that. The consumer is scared right now, and they've definitely shown that in terms of the retail numbers that we've seen. But the other side of it is that the more difficult the period, the, the tougher the rece recession, generally the stronger the recovery. And that's, so that's history, but we're not necessarily seeing that this time yet. Well, right? we certainly saw that when you look at last year, 2009, and you saw that specifically with the stock market. The stock market tends to anticipate an economic recovery, and that's what we saw in 2009. Right now, we've seen this weakness begin again in April, and that weakness has suggested that maybe the wheels are coming off. I agree with uh, our other expert. I don't think that that's the case. I don't think we're going to see a double dip. Everyone's talking about a double dip, and no one has actually even declared the other recession over. So what's your best advice now for how consumers and investors should weather this storm? The best thing you could possibly do is ignore the noise, really to tune out the volatility, to have an asset allocation that represents your risk tolerance and your time horizon and stick to it. But let's just say you can't handle it. You're in a panic. You can't sleep. There are knots in your stomach. In that situation, lighten up your equity investments, your stock investments, 10 to 20 percent. And Mark, how about uh, what government should do right now? You see a lot of concern out there that uh, governments around the world may be repeating the mistakes of the depression, cutting back on spending, raising taxes before we're out, before we're in a full recovery. Yeah, I think it would be premature for the government to step out uh, quickly here. I mean, the economy is still struggling. So I, I think uh, it would be prudent to, for example, extend emergency unemployment insurance benefits. There's uh, close to uh, 10 million uh, people receiving unemployment insurance. Uh, they need that help. And also, help state and local governments. Uh, if they don't get that help, they'll be cutting jobs, they'll be cutting programs, they'll be raising taxes at just the wrong time. So you believe it's just too early to turn off the government assistance? Yeah, I think it's uh, prudent to allow that uh, support to begin to fade, but it's much too early to let it go away completely. Okay, Marcus, Andy, Melody Hobson, thanks very much.